All new tonight, if you haven't bought your Christmas tree yet, you may not want to wait too long. December just started, but stores and farms say they're running low. WBC's Christina Rex visited one farm that's already sold out. Tis the season. I think there's an uptick in, in getting the trees earlier. The hype this year? Cut your own tree. Come 8 a.m. on the Friday after Thanksgiving, the parking lot was just like full. People were waiting. Vandervalk Farm in Menden and Batingbrook Farm in Framingham are closed for business, sold out of you cut trees. To cut our selling time in half this year was a big surprise for us. <laughs> the farms planned to be open much longer, but the trees didn't get to see the light of December before hundreds were cut down and sold. Now the businesses focus on other seasonal ventures, like the Vandervalk Summer Winery, as they wait for trees to grow for next season. When people start coming back up and saying they didn't find the tree for them, then I know that the trees that we have left are a little bit too small and not quite ready, and we'll save them for next year. Research shows that 20% of people nationwide plan to buy a real tree for the first time this year. And that's crunching the supply, which is already tight because of events more than a decade ago when this year's trees were first planted. It really goes back all the way to 2008 and the recession. And at that time, there was a, sort of an oversupply of trees. And so people weren't able to sell their trees in some cases for even the cost that they had in the trees. Moral of the story, if you were looking to cut down your own Christmas tree, it's probably already too late. We called around and many farms in the state are already sold out. But it's not too late to get a real tree. Owners tell me this coming weekend is the hottest weekend to get a pre-cut tree at a garden center. Fraser fir grows all the needles. Business is booming at Angel's Garden Center in Hopkinton, where supply is finally back to pre-pandemic levels. It's amazing. Last weekend we pretty much doubled our figures from the previous year. It may not be chopping down your own tree, but there's an experience with the purchase. And this, sellers say, is what keeps families coming back for generations for the real deal. Well, they've been doing it every year with their kids since they were little. I, mean, I have my own little kids. They love to be on their devices, so I feel like family time is kind of hard to come by. Christina Rex, WBZ News. Mm. Did you get your tree yet? Yep. You did? Day after Thanksgiving. Bring I, on the holidays. I got mine the Sunday after Thanksgiving. It was the only one left in the field to cut down. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it looks like a meatball. It's like it's a like beach It's like five ball. feet high and five feet wide. <laughs> My family loves it, though. All the better to decorate.